Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to produce the frequency distribution table using SPSS. Even before I proceed to demonstrate how to generate the frequency distribution table in SPSS, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by asking a simple question. What exactly is the frequency distribution? Frequency distribution gives you the value counts of each of the categories of a categorical variable. You can use the frequency distribution option in SPSS both for categorical variables as well as scale variables. In this video, I'll be talking about the different options in the SPSS descriptive statistics frequencies for a categorical variable. Let me load the data set that I have so that I can go ahead and demonstrate the frequency distribution option. To load the data set, I will be choosing the file menu. Then I'll head over to recently used data. Right at the top, you can see employee data. As you can see here, these are the two columns that I have. The first one is employee ID and the second is job category of the employee. We would like to understand how many managers are there, how many clerks are there, and how many custodials are working in this organization. To answer this question, the best option is SPSS, Descriptive Statistics and Frequencies. How do I produce the frequency table? Let me go to the Analyze menu. The second option from the top is descriptive statistics. Here, the very first item is frequencies. Let me go ahead and click on this particular option. This will produce a new dialog box, which is called as the frequencies dialog box. The second option that I have is employment category. Let me select this for analysis. In the left hand side, you can see there are a lot of options. The first button here is statistics. Now, this button here gives you very interesting options, especially if you're interested in checking measures of central tendency like mean, median, mode. You can also get the total value. Further, you can look at measures of dispersion like standard deviation, variance, range. You can look at minimum, maximum, and standard error of mean. In case you want to show the skewness and the kurtosis value, that again is possible. This dialog box is mostly useful in case you have a scale variable. In our case, we have used job category, which is a categorical variable. So it is best that we don't use this particular option. So I will leave this option as it is and click on continue. The next interesting button that we have below the statistics button is what is called as the chart option. Let me go ahead and select the charts option. Here you can see you have different chart type. The first option is none, which does not produce any chart. In the SPSS frequencies, you have the option of producing three different charts. The first is the bar chart. Then you can also request for a pie chart or a histogram. Along with the histogram, if you want, you can show the normal curve on the histogram. I will choose a simple pie chart in this case. In the second section, you have what is called as the chart values. Under the chart values, there are two options. One is the frequencies option. The second one is percentages. Each slice can either display the frequencies or the percentages. I'll choose the option percentages and click on continue. This is as far as the charts option is concerned. The third button here is what is called as the format button. Let me go ahead and click on the format button. Here you have different options. 
The first one is order by. Either you can arrange by ascending order or descending order or by ascending count or descending count. If you have multiple variables, then you can compare variables or organize the output by variables. In case you have a variable with many categories, you can choose this particular button which says suppress tables with many categories. In the existing variable, I have got only three categories and therefore I will unclick this particular button and simply click on continue. There are other interesting options as well, like style. You can see here, conditionally format the cell background and text within tables based on the cell values. Note, if none of the tables or values within the tables meet the condition specified, there may be no conditional formatting in the output tables. I like to ignore this for time being. The last option here is bootstrap. In case you want to generate bootstrap samples, you can choose the bootstrap option. For the purpose of this video, I'll simply choose the basic options and hit the OK button. The moment I hit the OK button, SPSS takes me to the output window. You can see here, this blank sheet represents the output window. The output window is divided into two sections. In the left hand side, you can see the output options. This gives you the hierarchy of the output that is produced. And if you actually want to look at the output itself, you can look at the right side. The first table tells you what are the number of valid cases. In this data set, we have 474 employees and there are zero missing cases. If you would have had certain cases which are missing, the missing values would have been displayed here. The second table that we have is the employment category table. Under the employment category, you can see here the distribution of the variable job category. In this organization, we have clerks, custodians, and managers. Predominantly, when you look at the frequency, there are 363 clerks, which is the highest number. Then you have 84 managers and 27 custodians. That is as far as the frequency distribution is concerned. If you look at only the percentage, the percentage of clerks in this organization is 76.6. Then you have 5.7% of people who are working as custodians. Last but not the least, you have approximately 17.7% .7 of people who are working as managers. You have the valid percentage and then you have the cumulative percentage. What's interesting to look at is the pie chart. The dominant fill here would be the blue color. You can look at the legend section here. The blue color represents clerical category. Next, you have the red color, which represents the custodial the category. And finally, the green color slice represents the managerial category. Unlike Excel, it's a bit difficult to activate it immediately. So what we can do is to activate this particular chart, you can double click on the pie chart. There's a new window, which is called as the properties window, you can simply close this particular window. At the left hand side corner, you have an option called as data label mode. Now, one question that might pop up in your mind is, why do we use the data label mode? Let me explain. Click on the data label mode and then you can click on each of the slices. As you can see here, the moment you click on each of the slices, SPSS displays the percentage for each of the categories. You can close this particular window. If you want, you can export this particular graph as a PowerPoint or you can export this into Word or Excel. In case you change your mind, that is, instead of looking at a pie chart, you want to show a bar chart. 
how do you do this you can see here there's an option which is called as dialog recall which stores all the recently instructions all the recent instructions that you have given to spss let me click on this particular button which is called as dialog recall the last 10 options that i have given are listed here right at the top you can see the frequencies option let me go ahead and click on this particular feature this is the frequencies dialog box in the right hand side you can see what is called as the charts option let me choose the charts option i had earlier chosen the pie chart now i will choose the bar chart i'll again go with percentages let me choose the option continue and then say okay now take you to the output window that you can see you're familiar with some of this output you are getting the frequencies option the statistics table then the distribution of employment category let me scroll down and here you can see a bar chart that gives you the percent of clerks custodial and managers in case you want to export this particular graph as a word document or as an excel sheet what you can do is you can select this particular graph let me close this you can just click once right click and simply say copy now in the search button i can simply choose a excel sheet this is a blank workbook which i'm going to select now you can see here this is a excel workbook i can paste the spss graph in excel by simply using the control v option here under the control option there are different choices that you have the first one is you can use destination theme second one is you can keep the source formatting and the last one is you can save this as a picture i'll choose the last option here which is to save this as a picture and this is how the bar chart can be simply exported in excel with this i have come to the end of today's video in today's video we've seen how to produce the frequency distribution we've also seen how to create graphs using spss I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.